Hi everyone, Sonia here, and I hope to be able to show you on a tile a little trick to, or just something that you should notice or know for the blow um, and the center and whatnot. So I'm going to put down my black pillow. That's my Sherwin Williams color to go. It's mixed in with GAC 800. To help with crazing, I'm going to put down my interference colors. I've got an interference gold. It's kind of a beetle back tile here. Then I've got interference green, blue, green. Interference blue. These interference colors look so nice on top of the black. On top of the white, they actually are the opposite of the color that they say they are. So like the red shows up a little bit green on top of white and on top of the dark colors or black they show up the color that the interference says. So interference red is red over black. Interference red is a little green over white. All right, there's my colors. Now I'm gonna, I've got two cell activators. I'm putting down a white first to kind of pick up that top color, and then I'm putting down a black on top of that to kind of define it. And then I'm gonna blow it, and hopefully I'll have a good example to show you of what I wanted to show you. So for me, I can't blow straight down like Shelley Carruthers and have it go all over, so I have to kind of, I kind of skim across. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hold it up kind of level to my face and try and just blow across instead of down. Now, what I wanted to show you is that it looks, oh no, I don't have a good blow. That center is too black. But what, and so, and so some people then go in and like blow down on that black center part, trying to get more cells. And if you're just patient and you let that pillow come back underneath, see how it's pulling all those cells back together. I had a lot of black in the middle. And so I think it just depends. That's what I wanted to show you is just be a little patient and don't feel like you've got to have cells everywhere because when it's recollecting, it's going to pull all of that back together and then I've got bigger cells in the middle. That's the effect that I want for this one. Now, if you want a bunch of little cells in the middle, by all means, when it's still black, if you once you've blown the outside and then just go in and go and blow straight down and it will create little cells under there. But if you want some kind of bigger ones in the middle, which is what happened here, just let it recollect. That is really all I wanted to show you is that you don't have to, when you're doing the blow, have those cells everywhere because while you're waiting for that pillow to come back together in the center, um, it's going to pull those cells back together. <laughs> and now I've got some of those bigger cells in the center and even bigger cells on the outside. And it's just gorgeous. So try that one more time, just kind of give you an idea of, um, I definitely wanted to show you that though, because I feel like it's these little tips and tricks don't always, we don't always find out the easy way, right? But it made it beautiful. Let me come around here, show you up close. It made the center shells, cells are really quite beautiful. They're big and well-defined um, because when I was letting it stretch, it pulled them back together. And I got a cute little, like, almost little flower shape in the middle there. So that's all I wanted to show you. We'll try one more. And... Um, just to give you another idea and you can kind of watch me blow if you want and that's part that's I'm gonna say that's probably part of the biggest battle with this technique I mean once you get your paints consistency and all that down really the blow is so important it's gonna make or break you just like a swipe that initial swipe is gonna make or break you so I'm putting down my interference gold followed by the blue green 
then the blue. Then the red. I custom mixed this blue and green, so I can't even tell you. It's not one color. This actually has some sky blue mixed in with a little bit of uh, teal green mixed in with a phthalo green and some color art. And this is um, some deep violet blue mixed in with color arts blue by you mixed in with some indigo. So <laughs> I I wish I could tell you <laughs> a straight color, but I don't have one if you're interested. I just was kind of being a mad scientist. Don't be afraid to try and mix up your own colors. You're not stuck with just what comes in the tubes. There's my two cell activators. Let's try and blow this again. So it looks very black in the middle, very black. That's a big space. So I'm a little hesitant not, like my first instinct is to go in and really blow on that center because I don't want a huge black middle. And I don't know if it's going to fill it all the way up, but look at how much it has filled it up. So that's what I wanted to point out to you is just let it do its thing. You know, pulling that, that pillow coming back together is going to pull those cells back together in the middle. And that's really what I wanted to show you. And so for the most part, that was a lot of black. And I was a little bit worried that maybe, <laughs> maybe this wouldn't work out so well, but it's pretty much pulled them all back together. There's a tiny bit in the middle that is still black, but that's completely acceptable. So I'm going to put that down. That's what I wanted to just show you. My little tip of the day, I guess. Give it a good spin. Let's see what we've got. We've got a beautiful tile. That's what we've got. <laughs> just gorgeous. So much interference, color shift, and shimmer. And kind of a peacocky blue and green. And so it looked like that center was going to be a big hot mess of just empty black. But I didn't have to go in and keep blowing. And it kept those center cells pretty big and defined, which is what I'm going for. If you don't want that big, chunky lacing in the middle, then you will want to go in and blow on all that black before the pillow starts uh, reabsorbing it. So that's it. That was just kind of my tip of the day that I wanted to show you and just gorgeous. I'm doing a big, I'm doing 30 of these. So I um, just showed you the different cell activators on the top um, next to blue and next to the green in my first video. And I just wanted to kind of give you that tip about don't feel like you've got to blow all of that um, cell activator or pillow out of the middle. Give it time and it'll recollect. Okay. So um, have fun painting everyone and experimenting, mixing up your own colors. Don't be stuck with what's in the tube. Have fun with it and um, have fun. You know, the blow for me, I have to go across it. I can't go down. And um, even though that looked like a huge amount of black in the middle, I just kind of let it sit and it will pull them back together. Okay. So until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye now.